Brad, welcome to In Depth. Do you have a fond memory of perhaps that first toy, that toy you asked for, that toy you saw in the Sears Christmas catalog and just had to have? Well, imagine not receiving any toy during the holidays. It happens right here at home. Toys for Tots for years had been making the joy of Christmas even brighter for up to 5,000 children in the tri-state. The kindness of giving. But last year was the end for Toys for Tots. The organizers called it a day for personal reasons. So how do you fill that void? Well, joining me tonight is Courtney Johnson. He is the founder of Young and Established. And this cause has Courtney Johnson written all over it. Courtney, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for having me. Why are you doing this? Well, you know, we always like to basically be a part of something positive, and we couldn't let this event, our campaign passed without jumping on it. And when we uh, got the message that we could do it, we wanted to be a part of it. And you are establishing a toy drive uh, that'll uh, culminate in December. But, you know, we were talking about that first toy that we received when we were kids. And you gave me a very, I thought, interesting response in the newsroom. What was the gift, not just the gift, but also the gift of giving. Tell me about that. So my parents were big on giving, giving back. Even though we were young, we wanted what well, we wanted back then. I can't remember a lot of the gifts that I wanted back then. I mean, there were a lot of different toys that we wanted. But uh, they also made sure that it was important that uh, we gave back. So that was one of the things that I always remembered. And uh, this event, we just didn't want that to happen this year. So we are starting a little later uh, than they started back then. But we're excited to be able to take this event over. And organizers of Toys for Tots usually got the ball rolling around March. Yes, and, and, you know, the holidays are coming up in about, what, two months or so. Uh, that's a huge challenge. So how are you going to meet that challenge? So we started two weeks ago. Once we uh, got the information and once we found out about what happened, we reached out to the organizer, uh, which was Rob Ryder. Uh, it was a little difficult getting a hold of him, but we actually had someone that has volunteered for the past six years uh, with him that reached out that day, that night, once we uh, made the comment that we'll take over the, the campaign. And uh, she's been very helpful as far as telling us what they did in the past. And even though we don't have that much time, uh, we have a lot of support. And this is a community campaign. We don't want to make it uh, about YNE doing this. This is the community coming together and making sure uh, we feel this void. And you're, you're basically uh, working with certain partners that are uh, pretty big names out there. And, yes, and how are they going to help and who are they? So we have a lot of different ones, but uh, Starbucks, Five Below, Walmart, uh, they're all just spreading the word and putting boxes uh, in their stores and making sure that uh, people help out with this campaign. So we have a lot of support. So we're not worried about getting the toys. We just want to make sure uh, every kid gets one. You know, uh, yeah, we've, we've talked about this so many times, especially in the last several years, is the commercialization mm -hmm. of Christmas, uh, you know, uh, the bottom line and what have you. But uh, this particular drive that you're talking about kind of brings back uh, some memories of, uh, you know, like old stories, like It's a Wonderful Life. Uh, you know, it's things that, you know, we, we grew, or I did, <laughs> my generation grew up. But... Uh, it's something that, uh, what do you think about that, uh, the, the actual spirit of the holiday? We know that, well, me personally, I know it's not all about toys. Yeah. Uh, but to see kids not receive anything, uh, I think it's important that uh, we just bring people together and make sure uh, every kid gets a toy. So uh, I'm big on faith, so I know it's not all about uh, just the toys and all of that, but just spending time with family and making sure that people are able to give and be a part of something that's positive. I think that's important to show that. And how can we help then? Uh, so we have everything set up on our website. You can go to youngandestablished.com. Uh, we have different forms as far as if you want to register to get involved, if a family wants to register, or if an organization or a company wants to put a box, they can just fill out the information and we'll bring them a box. And we've, uh, we've put that website up on our Eyewitness News website, so you can just click on that and link uh, uh, to the Young and Established website. Courtney Johnson, uh, perhaps we can get together in uh, December and see how this is all playing yes, out. Sir. But uh, best of luck to you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. All righty.